Hello and welcome to another audio analysis. In today's video we're taking a look at the track Forgiveness Part 1 and 2 by the Canadian rock band Billy Talent. This song was initially intended to be just a standalone single following part one and two of a three part short film the band would release, combining it with Reckless Paradise in 2019, however they did actually eventually decide to put it as part of their Crisis of Faith album from 2022. And with this song having two parts, it's going to have two very distinctive sounds and takes on a much more prog rock sounding to it. And it's certainly something adventurous that the band had never really tried before and gained a lot of praise upon the release of the track just for its ability to really push the boundaries of what the band were capable of. And part one of this song was actually inspired by the book The Alchemist by Paul Coelho. It talks about a shepherd's journey to the pyramids of Egypt where he has this recurring dream and this idea of finding treasure. And we are going to see that really reflect in the actual writing of the this song in much of the lyrical content despite it having a much wider application as well. So will forgiveness be given or denied? Let's take a look at exactly how this track sounds. Sorry with this track, you can really see how it's reflecting on the ideas of the alchemist. This idea of lost in the wind without a direction, really going on this journey to try and find this perfection you're possessed by it, trying to find this treasure. But this is a multilateral song because it all looks at the idea of the alchemist, but it also has this real world application as well. The fact that finding forgiveness is also a journey as well. It's not something that is instantly kind of given. If you've done something dark to somebody else or really hurt somebody, you don't just expect something instantly. You kind of have to hunt for it. You have to go on this journey this path to ascension and it ties in the idea of this Egyptian traveling theme as well with like an elevator rising to the sun the almost slope of a pyramid rising to the top getting to that pinnacle reaching that peak almost so it really ties in this idea of a journey through this Egyptian idea as opposed to things such as climbing mountains that we do see often used in music this idea of in search of redemption looking for this forgiveness and again ties in these holy ideas we did see pyramids being a very religious and very powerful almost sign of deities and things like like that so the idea of redemption being brought in as well really tying in these holy ideas throughout verse one and this idea of screaming at the stars but nobody's listening you're almost screaming for that forgiveness but no one's listening because you have to go on this journey first to find that forgiveness so i love how just off this first verse and this first chorus it ties in these ideas so well it really tells you exactly what the song is all about makes it very easy to access but has this very clever ideas to kind of thrown in that if it's tearing at my heart trying to find this secret of forgiveness trying to find this treasure that will unlock it almost and in terms of the music as well i love ian desires very sweeping guitars on this track really just does put a lot of power and effort into this track and really adds that progressive rock style and i'm really not sure what's more solid his guitar playing or his hair it has to be one or the other but it's certainly a very close call it really fits in very well with ben's almost vibrato style vocals on this track it's a very jarring mix but really complement each other very very well and really adds to this powerful kind of almost melodic thrusting energy that we do get really powering you forward on this journey with the song.
I love how in the chorus we do get Ben really drawing out some of these notes, the forgiveness, the existence, distance, all these words that he really just drives out again to give him this much more operatic, more powerful feel, really just forcing that delivery forward to really just kind of show this idea of just continually carrying yourself forward, really looking for that. Scorched by the rays, my quest is relentless. Sometimes getting forgiveness is not an easy task. You really have to dig deep to make it through that journey to get to the other end. Your spirit's desperate to find comfort in the arms of her remedy. So again, you're looking to get back to those loving arms that you've kind of disgraced yourself from almost. Again, touching an idea of the lights of salvation dissipate to the shadows of the sand. So this idea that sometimes you have to go through this darkness to achieve the light. Again, more lyrics that just show very, very well what this song is trying to convey, really tying in with the alchemist, but also having that real world application that is really, really strongly shown throughout this track. Like how in the bridge we do see these heavier elements coming in, really just kind of reaching that peak almost, really just kind of screaming at the top of your lungs that you're trying to chase your shadow to the sun, really just trying to force your way forward, chasing the darkness to reach that point of light. So again, most lyrics that really show this idea very well. And I love a lot of the work that Jordan Hastings does with the drums on this track. It was the final album that he would actually contribute before returning to Alexis on Fire and continue with them. But he did some great work kind of filling in for Aaron due to his inability to actually continue playing. I think he just really did fit in in terms of his just pounding style that really helps, again, adds just a strong energy to this track to help continue driving that progressive rock style forward. And also, John on the bass as well. It's kind of not as noticeable compared to Ian's guitar, but it really just gives this song a strong backbone to, again, continue to drive it forward to really provide this kind of theme of being taken on a journey. <laughs>
I really like how as we move into part two, we get this softer tone. It's very jarring when you first hear it and you go from this much more rock based sound into something with a horn section, something more, much more laid back, much more relaxed. But this feels like reaching the end of the journey and reflecting back on what you've learned. The idea that you're wallowing away, wallowing away in this kind of darkness, just feeling sorry for yourself, but then you realize that you gain comfort in the grace that you've found because you've achieved that forgiveness. You've got to that treasure that you've been aiming for and working towards, but really looking back at the journey and everything you learn along the way. The idea of circling a distant star, just kind of making that pathway round almost, falling into phase far beyond the shapeless heart. So really just gaining that kind of almost redemption, gaining that trust back almost from gaining the forgiveness that you have been looking for. So I like how it has this really reflective side to this part too. And again, it's meant to have these two parts and feel very different. If it just kind of kept itself the same, it wouldn't have that prog style. But I do love how in the first section of this track, it certainly had a very almost Knights of Sidonia by Muse feel to it. And then also kind of bringing elements of Rush and bands like that, really taking a kind of nod from some of the bands that really tackled prog rock very well. And considering this was the first track the band really attempted this style of music, I think they certainly pulled it off very well. And just even with this very slight interesting change that we have got, but we have seen more bands really adopt these styles as we've moved forward kind of since the release of this song with many rock artists trying to try their hand at prog rock and really making it work. Yes, I must admit, the first time I actually heard that track, I was a bit unsure, but it became one of those songs that really did grow me the more I got to hear it, and the more I learned about the track as well. You really come to appreciate the meanings behind it, this idea of this journey, then you can certainly see it. If you've ever upset somebody in your life, going for that forgiveness, you have to earn that trust back. You have to kind of earn that acceptance. So I love how it talks about this idea of this journey. I love the inspiration from The Alchemist and really seeing the reflection between the two, between the story in the actual novel, as well as also kind of that real world application on that hunt for forgiveness really touching the idea of working towards the light after you've done something quite dark and really just touching on that reflectiveness as well learning your lessons almost and really having this softer element to the second part of the song and then obviously it was included also with part three in the form of reckless paradise to really form this very short movie that was certainly very impressive unfortunately you can't find it on youtube it has been removed as it was actually kind of packaged together as a short film but it was certainly very impressive when they did release the individual parts and you got to really see the story unfold in front of your eyes. So that will be everything for today's video, but as always, feel free to let me know your thoughts about this track in the comments section below. Do you quite like this prog rock style? If you've never heard this track from the band before, maybe you're much more familiar with some of their earlier work, but if you are hearing this for the first time, I would love to know your thoughts. Also, if you'd like to see more content like this, then please do feel free to subscribe, and I will see you in the next Dojo Analysis.